We're going to be complete dicks and just stand here waiting. I don't want to go to the park. Please deliver the, to the park. No, thank you. Oh, apparently Lowly Worm's the only one to leave. Huckle gets to stay here and finish his part-time job, which apparently he has a driver's license for. So why does he ride his bike everywhere? Maybe he doesn't own a car. That was perfectly feasible. All right. The delivery truck. All right, something we're not fire qualified station. for again. Fire station. So I don't think we're actually as Huckle Cat in the fire station. I think we're as one of like the fire pigs. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that song. Hi, I'm Smokey the Firefighter. I must make sure that really? the fire engine is You're Smokey the Pig? The firefighter? The fire holes will squirt water on the fire. <laughs> sure. Alright. I can't lives. skip these either. I actually have to listen to him telling me what these things do individually. This siren makes a really loud sound. Really? Because it just sort of looks like a horn from a bike. The red flashing light gets everyone's attention. Alright, then I go back here. There. All done. After I've loaded my... Upstairs. Yeah, after I've loaded my truck, I can go to bed and sleep for like two seconds. We'll actually count it when I get there. Oh, on fire. I could use a rest. One, two, three, four. Wow. It is actually designed to go off in four seconds, according to that number. All right, I'm gonna put on my coat. I need my raincoat. And my uh, suspicious fireman's hat. I'm sure that was the thing, like, back in the day, but, uh, I don't, how did that fit in his truck? That hat should not be fitting in there with him. It just shouldn't. Alright, now I'm going to drive to uh, a house that's on fire. Trying to do anything on the way. I'm just actually, I think a straight shot I don't have to worry about. By the way, that pothole in that delivery truck totally wouldn't have made it. Uh, I would have basically crashed trying to go over the pothole. Come on. It's not very smooth. Um, yes, there's a house on fire. Hey, my buddy! On fire. Alright, so me and my buddy, we grabbed this trampoline. No. Nah. Jump! Jump! We'll catch you! Jump, bitch! Jump! Yeah, in the uh, Sega Genesis version, when the cat jumps, it makes this cat screaming noise. It's jump. actually really bad. Jump! jump. You can do it! I love how, uh, in a minute, we're going to see that there are actually women, like, children in this house, too. Uh, so there's Huckle's little sister. The parents jumped out first. Uh, wow. She's taking this in stride. I wonder if she set the fire. You get to be on the trampoline! Yay! Thank yeah. you, Uh, the parents jumped first. The little kid got to go out last, so... Gonna put that in the hose, gonna get in the back, and hold on. I can do a couple of fun things before I get to the fire. <laughs> Alright. Higher, you say? Oh no! I broke your window! Yeah, there's so many opportunities in this game to be a complete asshat. I think that's the fire put out. No? Gonna do it a little bit more? Okay. Now are we done? No? Alright. Do I just get down when I'm finished? Do I... No? Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm, I'm going down now. Slowly. 
<laughs> yes, I see that one. The Let's fire go to the seesaw. All right, here's a numbers game. I'm actually not very good at this, uh, the number balancing thing. But I should do all right. I mean, it's elementary level math, so. So I have to make it even. And there's like a method you can go through to do this. All right. Let's count while we play seesaw. Heavy is down, light is up. Look, the numbers are equal on both sides. Yeah, this is about to get ridiculous in a minute. The seesaw is balanced. The numbers are the same. Should we take somebody off the seesaw? The seesaw is balanced. Probably should have, for the sake of logic, I probably should have started with the big ones first and went down. Oh, no, no. Get back on. There we go. Look, the numbers are equal on both sides. I'm just gonna let you take this image in for a little bit. Just soak it in. Come on. Mouse is getting really sensitive on me with all those people on the uh, seesaw. Bye. Bye, Harper. Bye, Molly. Thanks for helping us with our gang bang. Have left. Bruno's Deli, Mr. Fix It. Mr. Fix It. Another job we're not qualified to do. Actually, that's a pretty grooving song. I'm gonna have to look that up when I'm done. Leave to Mr. Fix It. He'll make it right. Actually, I might have to kind of go out of my way to find the Richard Scary Busy Town CD. So I can have some of these songs. What is it? When this machine is finished, we can make great Ah, I love that. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. All right. So we turn this thing majig, and that makes the door go. So this guy's Rube Goldberg. Awesome. Oh, I get it. He's the guy who makes all that makes all this stuff. All right. Let's uh, start building the machine up. Oh, I get to pick. All right. Well, I'm gonna go with the two little ones. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna get uh, no, not the twisty belt. The straight belt. Let's make the machine go. Oh, wait. 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 We need to get the cup over here. There we go. All right, so we pull this to uh, put chocolate in the cup. Because that was totally necessary. Come over here. Move the cup over to the milk. Come over here. Heat the milk. Yep. I guess I gotta hold it. Alright. That was boiling. And run this to make it pour the milk. Yep, stop. And I've now got a mug of hot chocolate. Your works great. 
You probably can already tell if I had done it backwards, things would have broken and all of that jazz, so. Yay. Gonna just share that mug of complicated chocolate milk, are we? Dun, dun, dun. 